Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for dropping by. I appreciate you so much. And if you're returning, this heart is for you. In today's video, we're going to be covering how to go and get a stream deck without actually having a stream deck. Yes, stream decks are quite expensive and I have never streamed with one. However, I can get the exact same effects as a stream deck with all of these cool scene transition effects like this one, this one, this one. I can do a full on zoom in and I do all of this with a macro pad. Also, let me preface this by saying that you don't actually need a macro pad to do this. If you have a full keyboard with a numpad, you can do this with a numpad as well. If you have any spare keys on your keyboard that you would like to sacrifice and rebind, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Yes, you do not need to spend $50 for a macro pad to get this effect. So first and foremost, what is a macro pad? I'm not the best with keyboards, things like that, but through my friend Vinius and Ferb, who taught me everything that I know about keyboards, he also was the one who introduced me to this macro pad but my macro pad basically is a blank programmable keyboard that you can then rebind the keys to anything you like to keys to macros to other things and typically they are pretty small so you can get macro pads that are just two keys mine is a 16 key macro pad but they also go larger if you would like the one that i have is the super 16 v2 macro pad it's the rev one in milk so this one is 50 dollars, and i will put the link down below my editor will be editing this video so editor ken please <laughs> remind me if i forgot i bought this macro pad and it came disassembled so i had to assemble it together this was my first time building a keyboard or anything keyboard related so I didn't expect it to come disassemble I didn't realize I had to build it myself and I also didn't realize that I'll need a screwdriver for it so just to let you know you've never built one of these before yeah it doesn't come with it so make sure you have one of those tiny little allen wrenches that you can use to go and assemble it I built this and it has zap loop switches in these that are lubed and filmed by again my friend Vinius and Ferb and these are the hippo keycaps on it I also bought some custom keycaps that I threw on there as well because I love pom-pom purring now with this macro pad specifically I had to go through a program called VIA. Through VIA, I then had to go and bind each programmable blank key on my macro pad to something. So what I did, because I have a 75% keyboard, I basically made it into just an external number pad. So I just bound it to num1, num2, num3, etc. And I will put it up on screen so you can see the key mapping that I used in VIA for this macro pad. Again, if you have a number pad that's just built into your computer, you can completely skip this process because obviously you already have the keys that are bound into your keyboard through the numpad. But now, how do we take this macro pad or your numpad and turn this into a stream deck? It's actually quite simple. We're gonna first open up OBS, or if you're using Streamlabs, this can also be done in Streamlabs as well. So now that we've gotten our macro pad or our numpad, we're gonna now need to make the scenes that we're gonna want to go and scene transition into. For full comedic effect, I have a whole bunch of zoom-in scenes. I have a two times, three times, five times zoom-in, and I added a little red effect over it too, which if you wanna know how to make that red zoom-in scene, I actually already have a YouTube tutorial up on how to do that. So check it out here or down below if I remember. But to do this scene, we're gonna want to open up our OBS. And actually, honestly, it's pretty simple. I'm assuming if you're a streamer, you probably already have a just chatting scene with your camera. And if you do not, it's fine, right? If you do not, just take your just chatting scene under your scenes, right click it, and hit duplicate. And in case you didn't know, you can actually duplicate scenes. So this will duplicate your scene with all of the sources already added, including your alert box, your audio input, audio output, a webcam if you have one, etc. And that's all we need. If you are a streamer that uses one of those overlays, like a, a more graphic overlay on your stream, we're gonna want to go and remove that so it's only your webcam. And this is really simple. Just click your webcam. If it's locked, make sure you unlock it so you can actually adjust it. And we're gonna just drag the corner and make it bigger. Just zoom yourself in. And you might have to scooch the camera around a little bit just to get this to work, but just zoom it in until you're satisfied with how close it is. And then that's it. Rename it to something you're gonna remember. So I have multiple zoom scenes. So I name it zoom two times, three times, four times, just for how many more times I zoom in. You're good to go with your zoom in scenes. We're gonna go and click settings, which might crash my video. So under settings, we're gonna want to go under hotkeys. And this is pretty self-explanatory. You can actually hotkey stream events to keys on your keyboard or your macro pad or your numpad. For instance, if you wanted to go and start streaming or end stream using a keyboard button, you can actually hotkey that. 
I don't really recommend doing this. I know people who've done it and then their cat stepped on their keyboard and ended their stream. Unless you're streaming on one monitor and you do not want to show OBS, which in that case, this is possible. I would try to avoid doing that. So we can see our zoom in scenes here under our hotkeys. We have zoom in two times, zoom in three times. You can do as many zoom in scenes as you want. You can zoom in 10 times if you want. Again, since each zoom in is on its respective scene in OBS, to get that zoom in effect, I will have to swap to that said scene. For the zoom in two times, for instance, under where it says switch to scene, I already have a key bound here, so I'm just going to delete it. But I will just press whichever key that I want to bind the scene transition to. So if you have a numpad, let's say I like to use number two for it, for just zoom in two, so number two. So I'll just press number two on my macro pad, or if you have a numpad, press number two on your numpad, and then it will pop up the button to click apply and then hit apply. And that is literally it. Now, whenever you want to swap to your zoom in two time scene, just press number two and then bam, we can get up close and personal. Now again, to get the full effects of using a stream deck where you can just jump back and forth between scenes, please also have a key bind for the scene you want to go back to. So I have my just chatting scene and my gameplay scenes where I'm on this corner or this corner and all my zoom in scenes. I have all of the scenes that I typically use key bound onto my macro pad. So then I can just randomly type on my macro pad and click whichever button I would like to hop to to get the full comedic effect. Now, some people have asked me the question, Kat, how do you remember which button or which key corresponds to what? And honestly, it's really just muscle memory. I've been doing this for like two years now, so it's muscle memory to me as to which translate to what. However, I have zoom in two times set for number two. I have zoom in three times set for number three. And then I have zoom in five times. I don't have a four times zoom in. Wait, do I? Oh. And then for some reason, I bound my zoom in four times to my number five button and I just left it that way. It's always been like that. So I that's personally the way I do it. And then I have my just chatting scene set to number one because it's the classic one that I use. And then my regular game placing. This one actually doesn't make that much sense either. I have myself when I'm in my bottom right hand corner on the very bottom left key. And then I have myself when I'm in this corner, the bottom left corner on the right key. That's just the way I've always done it. I, it doesn't make sense to me either, to be honest, but it's just muscle memory at this point. So I just left it like that. So yeah, that is how you can go and use a numpad or a macro pad as a stream deck. So you don't have to splurge on getting a stream deck. The only difference really is the fact that you're going to have to remember which key corresponds to what. But honestly, a solution is you can literally just get cute keycaps that have custom art on it so that, oh, this keycap corresponds to this scene. Or I don't know, if you're really budget, you could just like write it on the keycap. I don't know. <laughs> just buy some cheap ones off of Amazon, I guess. But again, I hope you like this video. If you like it, I'd appreciate it. If you like and subscribe, that would mean so much to me. And I also have an Etsy in which I sell emos, overlays, things for Twitch streamers, and a coffee in which I have free resources for streamers and content creators. I also stream on Twitch three days a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays at 7 p.m. PST. So I hope to catch you guys there or in another one of my YouTube videos. Peace!